This part work has been supplied to me free of charge from Diagostini. If you'd like to build along, pop along to diagostini.com where you can order one for your very own. They also have several other part work build up models that you can build for everything from cars to boats and everything in between. So I'd like to thank them very much for giving me the opportunity to build this so you can all watch and see exactly how it all goes together. Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models. Welcome to issue 28 of building your own Ford GT. Uh, this issue, we're doing some more interior details. As, as you've got to do the interior before you can do the exterior, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to, fit to do the interior inside it. So uh, yeah, let's have a look. Uh, looking at the 2002 concept car, that looks quite nice. That looks like a proper, you know, normal car, but a bit sportier. It's still got the same uh, strange intake bit that this one's got. I quite like it, though. It's good. How can you drive one of them? Maybe not to the shops, but, you know, certainly around town and going places. That'd be quite a good fun. Yeah, uh, they built three. Uh, white, yellow, and black, black, orange, and blue. Quite nice. Um... There we go. Uh, not much to read about in this one, that's it. Uh, just about the concept of the V8 engine. Quite nice. Right, today we are doing the gas, brake and clutch pedals. Uh, three pedals and some electronics. We'll start on some electrics today. So, uh, yeah, that's all we have to do. We've got some silvery bits to put together. Uh, putting in the switches. Uh, two switches, that's interesting. Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, I, I would assume one would be the brake. Um, I don't know. What does it say? Let, let's go back and see what it says because it's quite interesting. See, we've got uh, cable one and cable two, though. So no, not very helpful in those. But yeah, there we go. We've got to make a little chrome fitting, uh, screw holding that together, and then that is being fitted into the floor pan, obviously as you would expect it to be, and that's where it's going to be. So uh, yeah, let's get through and get it built. So here we have the parts provided in this issue. Uh, several different types of screw as ever. Uh, some nice chrome bits and bracket to hold these in place. So we've got uh, 0, 02 and 0, 01. Uh, let's get these fitted. So these go into part we've already done it's, it's really starting to come together i like it when parts get you know quite substantial um so we've got a one uh it goes into the right recess over here there's two little sockets that they go into so one goes into there sort of get it it sort of sits in a little recess there a bit like that. I shall push it down a little bit further. There we go. Uh, two, not surprisingly, goes in next to it. So uh, yeah, these are definitely obviously for pedals. Um, I, I'm used to these car builds having the brake pedal operate the brake lights which makes sense to me so there obviously both got little plugs that come out operate in there um i'm not sure what the other one would it's probably it's going to be the accelerator is it going to make the engine rev maybe i don't know uh these wires then go sort of around the back there and down through the hole so we're already getting some wire management going on Getting things out of the way. I just got to go around the back of that. And then come out through there. I'm not going to worry too much about how far out they go or bending them down or round as yet, because obviously until we Get these rooted elsewhere it doesn't really matter yet so that goes down there then we use this little piece basically to hold the switch in place it's got to go that way around on there like that and we use an fp02 screw that's what i've got here 05 
Oh, two. There we go. We've got two of them in there. So obviously just the one of those is going to be used now. Here we go. That will go just through the top of that into the hole that should be just underneath it. Around there somewhere. Much further back than I thought. Right, okay. Uh, let's try that again. Through there. And all the way at the back. And there. And that just stops those switches moving. Stops them escaping. And makes sure they're in the right place. For stuff to activate them. So far, so good. Now, we can put this aside for a moment and do some chrome building. So, we've got three pedals there. Chrome work bit there. And the other bit there. So, it says, fit the clutch and brake pedal rods into place on the gas pedal. Hold it in place and secure with the underside with an FB05 screw. Let's get tiny screws, these ones. One of those out. They're that tiny that I am going to move over to my smaller screwdriver for this. I get it out of the packet. There's several in there, but obviously I only want one out at the moment. So let's uh, progress down to a smaller screwdriver. And then try and figure out where and what this is going to go uh not that it's this that we're using at the moment and that's there and that's there goes into there like that it is and that screw is going to go in the middle of that hold that in place what is this uh these are the clutch and brake pedal rods Um, they go into place on the gas pedal. Okay, so yeah, this is the, the gas pedal. And that's got some movement to it. So yes, that's going to be the other pin that's going to activate that switch. Sure. Uh, then this piece, get it all the right way around. Okay. Goes in there like that. Again, yes, we've got another switch that comes down there for that. And this is going to be held in place with another FPO5 screw. Yeah. I see how all of this is fitting together now. Uh, where is that one that's going into there? It's that one up there. Why is there four pedals? That's what I don't understand. This part of that, I mean, you've got, you know, a normal accelerator of gas is on that. It's that way around. Okay. It's got to be that way around because that's going to be the gas. It's going to be the brake and the clutch. What's this? Is that just the rest for the foot if you're not using the clutch? Or I don't know. Um, I've not seen a car with four um pedals before some sort of no it's not it's got a manual gear shift but it's on the wrong side of the car strange okay um fbo one screw to hold that in place so that's one of those get the screw out before i bring back the bodywork and figure out how it's all going to go together uh We haven't used that hole. No, it's not a hole there. Oh, it's in there. Right, that's where it's going to hold in. That way up, that's the screw. And this is obviously fitting into these two holes there. A bit like that. That will go into... Yeah, there we go. One into the hole, one into the hole, and the hole will get a screw through it. Uh, let's get back to the bigger screwdriver for this. Screw 
there. And that will just hold it in place. In front of the cables. Pin on the right, it's gone on the left. Yep, that's exactly right. Let's support that properly. Get this tightened up. And then we'll see if this makes a clicky noise. It does. And so does that. That doesn't, which is good. So the two switches are indeed operated by the accelerator and the gas. And yeah, quite a nice positive movement and click to those. That's better than some of these that I've done that have been a bit sloppy. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Then that is this part of the build complete so far. So good. So we've got the, the gear shift there. Obviously not functioning. Uh, but the two pedals that are. Oh, I don't know about that. If you've got any ideas, if you know what that fourth pedal is, leave a note in the comments. Let me know. I, I don't do cars and engineering. Um, if I missed it in the magazine, then let me know as well. It obviously is attached to that, but is that just for the sake of the model or is that how it should be? I don't know. So, uh, yeah, do let me know and I'll see you soon for the next part. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.